Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise him again. Praise the Lord. Say one more time. Praise the Lord. Hey, one more day before it's Happy Lord. New Year. It's good to see everybody face amongst the living. Because my God is not dead. He's still alive. He's alive in me, and I'm praying he's alive in you. Amen. Amen. So welcome to the Bond Direction Christian Center. I'm going to call the praise team up to come around as we move forward. Welcome to the Bond Direction Christian Center under the great leadership of Bishop Charles Anderson. And we're going to finish our 2023 just the way that we always do. Amen. And that's praising our God. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I am so happy. And I'm reminded of the verse that said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Those of you sitting in the back, I'm going to ask y'all to move forward. Ain't nothing back there. Come on to the top. Come on to the top. You got that second row. You got the first row. All right. You too. Bring it in. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, let's move to the front zone. And that's how I want the urge to start urging people in to the front. We're going to start around the 24th verse. Acts chapter 17. It's good to see everybody today. The last Sunday of the year. 
and it fell on the day before the new year. If we don't open our eyes, people, we're going to be lost. It's time to open your eyes up and see. Acts chapter 17, we're going to start around the 24th verse. We're going to read it. God that made the world and all things therein. Things now. He didn't say things. He said things therein. Seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. You may take your seats. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with what? Hands. The building is just what we come to worship. We come to worship, we come to give God what? Praise, we come to give God thanks. We come to encourage one another. Because some of us caught hell this week, so some of us need some encouragement. Some of you went through on these jobs. Some of you went through with your neighbors. Some of you went through with your family. Your friends, the thoughts your so-called friends. You went through something, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So when you come to the house of God, that's when you what? Release yes. everything that you went through. Amen. 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 And we're going to give you a little subject. That's something I want you to think about. And that is, who or what are you looking for this year? All right, now. Who or what are you looking for? This year. I don't know what you was looking for last year. I don't even know who you was looking for last year. I don't know what you was looking for last year. But apparently, some of you didn't get it. Amen. Amen. I say it again. Apparently, some of you didn't get it because you're wearing it on your face. Amen. You better say it, bitch. Amen. So somewhere, somebody got disappointed. They didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get who they wanted. Come on with it, bitch. You better say it. They didn't get it. Oh, look at now. Look out now. You better say it, bitch. So, what, who or what are you looking for this year? What you looking for? My relationship fell apart last year. Well, maybe it just wasn't for you. That's it. That's it. Maybe it wasn't your time, or maybe that person wasn't for you in that particular season, but you were trying to force something to be. Uh-huh. You better say it. The scripture said, Jesus himself said, whatever he has joined together, let no man put asunder. A bunch of y'all joining your folks together, that's why it's falling out, tearing apart on the floor. Because God went in. So this year, who or what are you looking for? Once you understand who you are, then you can begin to understand what you need. A lot of us don't know what we need because we're still confused. A lot of us still really don't know. We battling in our mind. We think we want this because it looks good. Uh-uh. It walks good. Uh-uh. It smells good. Uh-huh. It talks good. <laughs> but is it good for me? Everything that's strutting in a skirt and twerking don't mean it's good for you. That don't mean it's good for you. Uh, Young man can have one a suit and smelling good, got on the best cologne that he can buy. Uh, Everything that your dreams buy. But is it good for you? Uh, 
If I'm going to hell, I don't need a help. I don't let me go on by myself. Did y'all see little good? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I got to give an account of me. Come on, man. And I know me. That's it. Just like first lady, she helps some men. I see beautiful women. That's it. You better say it. But does that mean I jump? Ooh. You better say it, fish. Come on. I'm a man of dignity. That's it. I'm a man of character. I got some morals about myself. That's it. The word of God says a good name in the earth. Uh -huh. You better say it. It's better than anything. So I cherish what God has put in me. Oh, you just a man? Yeah, I'm just a man. But I'm a man that God has put in authority. Amen. I'm a man that God trusts is in. Amen. Don't fool yourself. Yeah. They come skipping and hopping on my work. They oh they my job, they bad about it. They want something for nothing. You a mechanic? Yeah. Can you can you hook me up right here? They wanna they, if they ever have a nerve, they ever wanna call you outside of the shop. Come on, you better say it. Well, well, come here. Won't you come over here? I work in here. <laughs> Call me out in your car. The devil is alive. Come on. I'm working here. I can't get there. Well, well, do you, well, let me get your phone number. For what? You need prayer? I see you at 750 Hallsbury Road, 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Show up. No, I'm a, I'm a pastor. That's it. Yeah. I'm a pastor. Yeah. If I can help you, I'll help you. Yeah. And then you soon, you, I, soon, I soon see the conscience change. Yeah, it changed. Yeah. Yeah. It changed. Yeah. Then some of them have nerves and want to shake in front of their way. Amen. Amen. And I look at them like, Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You just showed me all of you. All right. Your character. No dignity. Uh -huh. No self-respect. Uh -huh. For your own self. Right. Free meat on the market. Because yeah. if you do it to me, you'll do it to somebody else. Say from my boo. Mm -hmm. Evidently, the boo ain't did enough. Come on, come on, come on. Boo ain't put a ring on it as Beyonce said. You better say it, bitch. If boo really wanted. Boo gotta put a ring on. Put a ring on it. Oh, if the boo ain't got no ring. Leave your boo alone. Go and look for another one. Cause that one ain't ready. Wait till this conference come up this year. Come on, bitch. I'm about to have police outside, bro. Oh, I'm going to make some folks real, real mad. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
business. But if you if you hear it, it's gonna help you. If you hear it, it's going to help you. Let me jump down to verse 27. Follow me now. Just quickly follow me. They that should seek the Lord. They. See, they will just jump up in front of you. You got to look for them. Look for them causes you to think. Look for them means I stop talking so much. Look for them means I get to myself. Look for them means I got to go in a secret place where I can find him. Look for it means I get off the gospel station. Yes. I didn't say gospel. I said gossip. All right now. Yes. Yes. Look for it means sometimes I got to shut Facebook down because y'all ain't talking about nothing what I really need. Come on. I need some help. Yeah. I need the Lord to do some things in my life. I need some salvation. Yeah. I don't need a gospel. He said, if happy, they might feel after him. <laughs> You got to feel for him now. Amen. We feel for everything else, don't we? Amen. Uh, Amen. Come on, come on, talk to me now. Amen. Come on. Don't get quiet now. Come on, come on, Amen. Thank you, Lord. You feel for everything else you want to feel for. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Everything else yes, you feel Lord. for. Yeah. But he says, happy. Mm -hmm. happy, 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 happy. They on. might feel after him. And find him. Mm -hmm. I just like when the word of God says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing and he obtains what? Favor from the Lord. He just said when I find a who's your mom. He said, but when I find a wife, I find a good thing. He said, I found a good thing. Yes, Lord. He said, now after you find a good thing, then you obtain favor over your life. That's the word. That's in the word. You obtain favor over your life. That's right. You go out there and pick up women a diamond dozen, huh? They check that cheek. Amen. Yes, I did. You got a nice little ride. You can pull out a few dollars. You can take them to a restaurant. Don't stop by tomorrow. Baby, what you want? Let's go on this side here. You got a leech then, buddy. Amen. Come on, fish. You in the house. <laughs> but if you're looking for a wife, you gotta you gotta categorize yourself in what you want the wife to be. That's it. Right. That's it. Right. Yeah. That's it. You gotta already know in your mind what you want your wife, your future wife, to be, how you want it to look, how you want it to act, how you want a personality to be. Amen. But he says in, in, in he says they that seek the Lord, if have it, they might find him. See, so I said earlier, a lot of times in marriages, especially in marriages, and I've been there. See, I always like to put myself first. I ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. I ain't never been through. Come on. Ain't never been there. Come on. Yeah. My first one, I put myself there. Go ahead with you. God went there. Come on. No. He wasn't there. I didn't acknowledge him that way. Come on. Didn't know him like that. Come on. Come on. See, if I knew him like that, I would have knew better. All right, yeah. And I would say, Lord, is this the one for me? Yeah, that's right. That's it. That's it. But see, I, I didn't do that. Just connected, I would say, okay, bam. But when you do it, and you do it out of order. It will not work. Yes, I'm sorry, it will not work. You call yourself more time, more trouble, more tears, mm -hmm. more sleepless nights. Come on. Yes, Lord. In there. Because you did not acknowledge God in it. Did you look for God first? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. yeah. Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord. That's it. That's what the script, that word just says, seek him. Mm -hmm. See, if men can learn to 
Seek God first. God will send you what you need. Come on, somebody. Amen. I didn't say what you want. I said God will send you what you need. And vice versa with the woman, the same thing. Get yourself in a holy place and stay. Amen. You want a husband, get yourself in a holy place. Get your relationship, build your relationship with the Lord. God already know what you need is. Yes, he ain't going to just send a holy woman anything. Come on, come He's on. not going to send a holy man anything. Amen. Come on. That's true. That's it. He's not going to do it. That's not the God we serve. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I, I know the story about Hosea. Uh, Jose, yeah. But God had a mission behind that. Yes, Don't run. I ain't playing Hosea now. All right. God ain't going to take you that. God ain't going to take you. I'm going to see that woman. I, she, I like that woman down there. You know everything that woman doing. That's my wife. No, it's not. Did God say that? God said he wishes we should have the best and not the less. That's it. That's it. Now, it, it, where's your scripture? Look, oh, let me, okay. Mm, uh -oh. When it comes down to where the scripture says that the husband is sanctified through the wife, mm -hmm. yeah. that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. They got to be on the same mm -hmm. wavelength. Mm -hmm. If she's saved and he's not saved, mm -hmm. if he begins to hinder her in her walk with Christ, mm -hmm. he becomes a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. Now, when you become a stumbling block, God will move you out of the way. So you don't hinder his work. That's already in progress. He's not going to do that. That's not the way God operates. He's not going to do that. Yeah. It's like two people getting married and, they, and neither one is saved. Okay? But if they get in church, and one begins to strive, the other one encourages. Mm -hmm. If the wife gets saved first, and the husband is still there, he's still coming, he's still pushing, he's still encouraging, sooner or later, God snatches him. Amen. 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 Then they become one, yeah. not two. One. You become one yeah. in the Lord. But see, you got to be seeking him. You got to be seeking the Lord. So once you begin to seek the Lord, then yeah, once you find him, and then he says in verse 28, once I found the Lord, okay. and then I understand that I'm supposed to be doing this, seeking him, then he says, for in him, mm -hmm. now I begin to understand my call, my purpose. Yeah. For in him we live, yeah. and we move, yeah. and have our being. Yeah. Not because of my wife, yeah. not because of the church, folks. Not because of my neighbor, not because of my BL, Come on. but in him Come on, bitch. that I move yeah. and I breathe. Yeah. Husband didn't wake you up. No, That's my wife. I love her, but she didn't wake me up. God did. Because in him, we move, we breathe, and we have what? Our being. Because of God, we exist today. Yes. I don't care if you guys make a million dollars. You can't buy your way to heaven. Uh -huh. Only thing you got is a one-way ticket to hell. All right. That's all you got. No return. Straight there. Because right <laughs> <laughs> a fool and his money will what? what? Soon the part. That's it. That's, That's the it. word. Now, That's everything word. I tell you, I can take you to the book. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. Because the fool and the money, they will the fun. Yeah. Why do you think God called us to be good stewards? Yeah. We're called to be good stewards. Yeah. yeah. You may not even be connected to a church, but God still requires you to be a good steward yeah. over your money. That's it. That's why you say a fool and the money, they soon the fun. Fool get paid on Friday, he broke money. Amen. 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 Who did it? You did it. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. You got me. You get $500 on Friday, money. Three hours later. 
Your money gone. Then you sitting there looking like and wondering what happened. Wondering where it went. You looking for the end to meet, and there ain't no end. That's it. Amen. But when we line up with the word of God, and all I'm saying is, get in the word for your oneself. Start reading God's word for yourself. So you can see what God has for you and stop shortchanging yourself. It's amazing how people shortchange. They don't shortchange a bill. But a light bill to do Alabama Power ain't going to say, okay, we'll take a third of the day and we keep the lights on for another 20 days. They, they hear the button, click, you in the dog. It ain't, it ain't no arrangements. They don't play that. So when it comes down to God and doing his will, why do we shortchange God? That's why I ask you, who or what are you looking for this year? Everybody here wants this 2024 to be an awesome year, right? Yes, yes, sir. Amen. And it's going to be an awesome year because God already going to make it an awesome year. Yes. It's up to you how you handle it. All right. Yes, yes. That's it. Amen. That's it. It's up to you how you handle it. Yes. Amen. He just said in him we move, we breathe, and we have our being. So uh, because God is allowing us to exist, yes. how are we going to handle it? Oh, Jesus. Are we just going to say easy come, easy go? No. If you get paid every week, you count the next week. Right. If you get paid weekly, you count down. Right. Hold up there. I've got a whole other six, seven days. Man. Amen. Amen. When God called you to be a good steward over your money, come on. When you learn how to be a good steward, then God can open up the windows of heaven before I pull you out the blessing yes, no. that you wouldn't yes. have room enough to receive. Yes. See, people want God to open up the windows of heaven, but they ain't want to do nothing. All right. They figure they want the blessing, but that's not the way it works. Amen. It, it's not. It's not. It, it's not the way it works. Huh? 29, I'm going to wrap it up. says, for as much then are, as we are the offsprings of God. We ought to not to think that God that, that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by arts and man's devices. And 30 is going to really put the icing on the cake. And the times of this ignorance. God winked at. But he's not winking no more. He says, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. You really want to be a man of God? Come out your act. Stop faking and jaking. Stop pretending. Repent. Become God the sorrow. And God will come in and help you. Same thing with the women. Come out from among them and be ye separated, yeah. says the Lord. That's the difference between clean and unclean, holy and unholy. Come out from it. Yeah, you're supposed to lose some friends when you come over on the Lord, sir. You are supposed to lead to lose, lose some friends when you come over on the Lord's side. Because they, they not looking where you looking at. They still looking for the old you. They can't they, they see the new you, but they don't want to really see the new you. They don't want to recognize the new you. They still want to pull on and look for the old you. That's it, bitch. Amen. That's it. So that's why you leave them right there with them. And they don't have nothing but your past. That's it. That's all they got. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's all they got. It's your past. Yes. But glory be to God, I don't live in the past. Yes. I live in the present. Yes, right now. And if every time I come around, all you got is my past. Yes. Well, child, I'm going to pray for you because you stuck. Yes. Yes. You stuck worse than children. Because uh -huh. you can't see where we're going. You're looking at where we was. Yes. But I want to really, understand where I'm going now. Yes. All right. All right. 
I'm going all the way with Christ. That's it. Yeah. I'm going with Christ. And, it, and the word tells us so it's so easy for us to, to, to get caught up. I was sharing this with, with uh with mother this morning. There is such a heavy deceiving spirit oh in the earth. Yes, sir. Amen. It looks like God. Uh -huh. Acts like the Spirit of God. Yeah. Talk like the Spirit of God. Moves like the Spirit of God. But it ain't God. It's a deceiving spirit. It's a deceiving spirit. You got more theology going on now than a little bit. I've never seen a time where everybody got a revelation. And we only got one book. But everybody got a revelation. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all been doing it wrong all these years. That ain't right over there. And my thing about that is, if it was so wrong and we've been doing it the same way all these years, why has not God showed somebody down through the time that this was wrong? <coughs> I ain't ran up on nobody to tell me that yet. I ain't run up on nobody that announced me that. But you say I'm worshiping on the wrong day. Come on, come on. That's why I said don't 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 let me fool. You better say. God got me. Amen. So many different denominations. Good God. But it ain't one God. He says one Lord. One faith, one, one baptism. That is all that it is. So we get in the Lord and get on His side, we'd be all right. All right, that's it. That's all we got to do. Seek the Lord, find Him while He may be found. Get in that place with the Lord. It's time about now for people. God has allowed people to do pretty much everything they want to do yeah. in life. Yeah. You can go when you want to, come when you want to, pretty much eat whatever you want to eat, yeah. buy whatever you want to wear. Yeah. Some have traveled, yeah. and God was still there. Yeah. Yeah. Some travel in some places doing some things they know they shouldn't have been doing, but Sunday morning, boy, they back in the house. But now, who you fool? You said, no, God been too good to us, to all of us, down through the year of 23. God has opened doors for you. God has made a way for you. God has provided finances for you. Huh? God has given you some of your desires. Amen. 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 And we still act like he owe us. That's it. Come on. We owe God. Amen. And let me say this. I don't care how busy, how busy you get. Don't forget to give God some of your time. Amen. 